these cows are absolutely loving this grass. You go across this line and then uh, come to a stop. It's all about driving intake for the cows. Very clever, innovative people. Good morning my barnyard buddies and welcome back. Glad you could join us. Today something a little bit special. Lily, long town at uh, Carlisle, have uh, very nicely sent us this guy for demo. So we haven't bought one, it's here on demo, just for us to try. Engineers have been this week, we've set the metal strips up on the floor and uh, we're going to let this guy do a little bit of work uh, pushing the silage up to the cows. Uh, we normally do it with the, uh, with the wheel on the front of the load all and that uh, normally pushes the, uh, pushes the grass up and we do it on a regular basis, doing it three or four times a day. Uh, grass is running out on us fast now, so we're trying to decide what to do for Beth. And I think, uh, I think there's only one thing to do, don't you? Hey, I haven't done so already, my barnyard buddies. Don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button and ring the little bell to be notified of new videos uploaded. All right, that's second cut silage. We'll not start with that one. I think what we'll do, we'll start with this one. This one is third cut silage. Well, we need to get this out of the way because this is where the uh, where the muck midding normally goes or we pile the muck up and it's uh, yeah I think we need to use this first though it was the last made we're going to feed it uh, feed it first so get a few of these tyres off and uh, then once we get it down a bit and get it back it'll uh, it'll give us access back through this doorway where it's uh, it's been a bit tight we we can't get down to the feed bin and the wagon can't uh, can't fill it up he don't bring enough pipes with him. So we'll get we'll get started, get some of this shifted, get these uh, these horrible tyres off, and uh, we'll start nibbling at it. Uh, we have had some silage samples done. Um, it, it was a little, still a little bit warm. Um, how long has it been made now? It's about five weeks since we actually chopped it and popped it here. Um, it should have cooled down enough, but uh, it's still a little bit warm. But what we'll do, we'll crack on and uh, we'll crack on and, and get it open. I think these cows are ready for it. We're just about out of. Uh, we're just about out of green uh, green grass now at zero grazer. We're sort of just tidying up around the fields, things that's been left. But it's rained quite a bit in September, early September, and it's uh, it, it's a bit wet. It's a bit wet. It's making a bit of a mess in the fields. And uh, our policy is not to uh, not to go diving into fields and making a mess and great big roots, because all you're doing there is just making a complete mess for uh, for later on, and it doesn't recover and the, those marks will still be there in the spring. So the best thing to do is just, just don't make a mess, just forfeit the grass. Uh, there's always some cows or some little feet that will walk around and tidy it up. But uh, main object this morning, we'll get this off. Let's get a sheet off. Okay, it's time, uh, it's time for the big reveal. We'll put you there and uh, we'll get the sheet off and see what it looks like. Are you ready? So just a quick look round, uh, round the unit. I, uh, I'm not an engineer, I don't know too much about it really, apart from it, uh, what it does. Um, as far as I understand, these are two sensors on the top, one there and one there. And what they do, they, uh, they scan, the, scan the feed fence as it's driving down and it, uh, it measures its distance from, from the wall or, or the feed fence so it knows its position where it's got to be at. Um, it, what it does, it sets off guiding by the metal strips on the floor so that's how it uh, realises where it is, I'm assuming it's got some sensors underneath um, we'll show it working in a second or two and uh, what it does, it comes across, programmed in and then they've set the distance, like a predetermined distance from, from the wall to the sensor now that distance is set by the engineers so it knows how far to travel you know, so it knows how far to travel down 
and it's not trying to run tight against the fence because it won't work if it pushes up that way it has to be a certain distance away and then it rolls rolls the grass down all the way down power's just on a 13 amp plug um, and then the charger unit is sat here so that's just screwed to the wall and then it charges via these two these two pads which go onto the charge plate here um, it's 12 volt so you're not going to get electric shock so that uh, that's how it charges itself up and it packs itself up the black ring around the edge um, it's got a shocker device on so uh, what that does it stops the cows rubbing and touching it or if they do touch it it gives them a, a little knock to make sure they, uh, they don't push it out of line and just tells the cow really not to touch when uh, when it comes all the way back down the line it's actually facing the wrong way around so what it needs to do it needs to turn around so it can charge itself up so the first thing it does it comes to this line and then it realizes where it is this metal plate on the floor once it crosses that halfway it then knows to turn and then goes across and then it picks the other one up the other way and what it does it drives itself all the way around to this point again it does same again turns again and then this one's got a curve on which nicely takes the machine all the way around it follows the line back and then packs itself up on the charger just drives alongside and then as soon as it gets contact on the charger it uh, it stops and then it charges itself up ready for next time all right don't look too bad uh smells nice it's a bit soft on top because we're a bit short of weight to put on top but uh, it doesn't smell too bad a bit of a a dark spot there which has uh, got air to it but like i said we tested it the other day and it felt a bit warm but uh, that, that looks all right to me right we'll get a grapple out and see uh, and see if these cows like it farmer's friend Grease up regular, honest. We do regular, I swear we do. a bit wetter than I thought, a bit of water running out, but uh, what happens is hot water runs down the yard here, that's why one of, one of the reasons we want to shift it first, it's hot water gets underneath, so we need to get this out of the way, especially if it comes really wet, but it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad at all, it smells nice, it's, it's still a bit warm, I thought it cooled down, but it's, it's, it's a bit warm yet, so we're going to we're gonna have to watch it going mouldy, um, it has a little bit there where it's broken top. We need to get that off because uh, mould and silage is not good. So what we'll do, we'll dig a bit out. Uh, we haven't got a feeder wagon. So what we'll do, we'll do like we do every winter. We'll dig a section out and then we'll mix it and stir it with a bucket. And we'll just feed it directly to the cows. Uh, we'll try to keep it as simple as possible here. Yeah? Uh, with no fancy feed wagon. We'll just use the grab, cut it out. And then we'll just mix it on the floor with the bucket. Uh, we usually put bruised grains in with it as well, but they've had the grass and the bruised grains this morning. So it's really just an introduction today, and we'll uh, we'll get some of this out. We don't look bad. It's not bad at all. Like it hasn't been there that long. There's a little bit of a little bit of blackness on top, but it'll be all right. Everything's controlled uh, on it by the uh, mobile app, which is on your mobile phone that uh, allows you to plan the routes and uh, set it going at different times. And you just sort of set it to you know to go at a certain time that you that suits your farm best uh, because you might feed at different times or uh, you might be bringing silage at different times or you might be turning to your cows so you can set it to go at whatever time whatever time suits and uh, and then she'll work uh, she'll work nicely from there on you simply set it up on the mobile by our phone app okay what we'll do i'll set it going manually for us now because we'll push this grass up that's what we do, we're just having it running at night. Okay, I've set it going. As soon as it's going to go, the little light comes on the top. It um, just takes a couple of seconds before it starts. And then what she'll do, she'll move across to this line and come across here. 
and then what he'll do then he'll start to pick this fence up so a clever bit of kit robotics so it's come off the, off the charger now and now it's driving a diagonally across and it's going to pick this line up on the floor then once it senses it real light right it knows where it is now what it's going to do now it's going to turn and then these sensors are going to sense off the fence off the wall side because the distance from there has been set to there to there so once it realizes it's at the right position the right distance and then uh, she'll start to uh, start moving on there we go so it goes and sits on a slight angle so it twists itself over a slight angle and what it's doing there is scooping the uh, remnants of the green grass and pushing it in God, it smells beautiful. I could eat it myself. Not. I wouldn't say they've gone bad for it straight away, but uh, they're. Uh, I think the taste testing. Well, what's your verdict? Okay, we'll uh, we'll get a bit sprinkled out all the way on, and uh, just give them a taste this morning. We'll do it slowly, we'll change them over slowly. We've got to change from one diet to another. So idea is not to suddenly crack them and uh, do it all in one go but we'll just do it little bit at once uh, and we'll try and get onto half grass and half silage and eventually, you know, the big change over won't be too much we also need to also feed in the uh, in the robots as well slightly uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that and we'll get them, uh, we'll get them going You can see now how tidy it is, it's pushed all the grass up to the cows. Uh, okay, we've got a little bit here, but that's got a little bit of soil in it where we've, where we've got it mixed up. Um, but it's uh, it's nicely pushed the grass all the way up to the cows, best it can. There's a lot of grass here, there's a lot of weight, and it's very wet. It's uh, been a wet day today. So we fetched the cows, uh, we fetched the, the grass in the, uh, in the rain. So the grass is very wet today, so Juno struggled a little bit because it's very heavy is the grass but it has pushed it up all right the good thing about it it's really very easy to program and you can program it to to go on the time of day that you want it to go on i do like it it's a great bit of kit especially on a night would be uh, extremely beneficial um keeping uh, keeping the salads pushed up the cows constantly so i think the biggest benefit for us would definitely be on an evening or uh, overnight one, two, three, four. It's a lovely morning. It's the day after the night before. And you know, I'm just gonna have to get my bloody hair cut. That's better, that's better. Even the sun's shining now. Come on. 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 Come on.